got to this stage, right, just with the fold. That's the first, that's the fold of it. If I was making a ring, I'd be well happy with that fold. Right, we're making a, a cuff, so same procedure. First spacer. First cone. Now, you can see with the angle of the cone now, it's just right to get you up and running. Still going to use spacer number two. So we're going to anneal. Right, all annealed, ready to go. Right, that's maxed out. Didn't jam on the spacer but you know how to get the spacer free you just tip it over I'm pretty sure through the course of this process we'll have one but there should be enough spaces not to jam it up but it doesn't matter if you do right number two spacer is finished with number three spacer to no not quite ready not quite ready to push through yet Stand on. Not a problem, you flip it over, you hold it from underneath, and you just release your cone and your ring. Well, cough really. Spacer number three finished. Now that's a much better fit, and we're ready to push through. Be 
careful, there'll be a bit of pressure. You don't want it flying around all over the place. Perfect. Right, cone number one put aside, that's finished with. That process is over with. But the push through spacer from cone number one is always your first spacer on your next cone. Right, time to anneal and check for micro tears. Always keep an eye on your work and you won't go far wrong. That's on the first stage there. Um, nice size. Fairly good shape. On to the next stage. Right, cone number two. We push through cone number one spacer. It's always your first one to start with. And as you can see from the angle of the the cone, you get a good fit. It's um, a steady start without pushing the walls bang too fast and the opportunity of splitting your coin is higher. So with that angle like that, we're more or less onto the expansion spacer on the top already with a few pushes. See what I mean there? The way we're, we're actually there already without having to push, push, push and the walls come out and push in and split. Right, let's just see if it's ready for the next spacer. Right, that goes with cone number one because that's the push through spacer. Keep all everything together in a nice neat row and you can't go wrong. So again, just flip it over into its little adapter. Hold on to the bottom and you're there. Now the adapter doesn't actually do anything. What it does do is it helps when you're splitting your plates. And you're getting wider and wider and wider as you go up in space to size. Then what it does at the end of the last cone you're sort of like a mill on each side of the plate and it's just sometimes a little bit too iffy but this is a 70 mil and the space is a 60 mil so you gain that extra 10 mil 5 mil each side for stability it actually doesn't do anything at all it's just for that reason alone Now we're on to cone number two, push through already. It only needs one spacer in between number one and two. Oops, a bit of Freddy there. On the floor she goes. tiger right that's pushed through but again number two push through cone is your first cone spacer I mean for the next cone they just put that aside till it's done and that's time to take a check on our work here as you can see getting there nice size but this what it is is with Morgan's it's the only one I've noticed 
it kind of thins, see the, the wings, it thins there and it thins there. Now, if it stays uniformed, it won't be too, too bad because that'll be the bit that goes over your wrist and the cut will be at the back trying to get it in, in between the D and the O. So you'll have the one D and then all are after the other side. So you don't really lose that much detail. But as it happens, that's looking okay at the moment. But we're only on number two cone. Right, and kneel and get on with it. Cone number three. Remember, it's always Cone number two spacer to start you off before you go on to the in-between spaces. Same again with the angle. See how much you've gained without bringing the walls out at um, a rate that the ring just can't take. And that doesn't mean you ain't going to split anything. Because this is... Um, Asking to a coin that was never ever designed for such a, a job. See the way the walls come out very, very gently instead of bang in split. That's cone number two spacer pushed through, so it goes with cone number two. So you know it's always there, so you don't have to start hunting. In between spacer, perfect. feels a little tight for me so I'm actually going to anneal that but I'm going to anneal it on the cone there's no reason to try and release it it's all metal but just remember it does get hot so you'll anneal around here and you'll automatically go to pick it up to put it in your to quench it and uh, you burn yourself so just remember that Right, all annealed and ready to go. Didn't get a lot out of that, so I think it's... That doesn't make sense. It's... Mm, a bit tight, yeah. In between spacer. feel you're maxed out there like I say if you don't have to jam it up just to get that extra oh it's jammed anyway but what do I know same principle again just don't let your ram go up so far and out she comes in between spaces finished with. Now we're on to... It's not that spacer, so it must be the push-through spacer. Most certainly is. Let's do 
Ja, ja, ja. Oh, got a Freddy again. Freddy Slimlishlin, whatever his name is. Those famous Norwegian moose hunter. Right, um, perfect. Remember, that's your next spacer for your next cone. Cone number four. Right, I know I've just annealed that, but I think I'll do it again. A quick view at the work so far. Now, these Morgans are very, very, very funny creatures. They, um, they can go one way or the other. They definitely thin out by the wings. There's no two ways about that. And if this coin is not going to make it to bracelet size, it's going to go by one of the wings. There's no two ways about that. That's where it is. But we're on cone number three. That's done and dusted. So we're on to number four. We'll really have a better idea after that one. But as it looks at the moment, it's not too, too bad. Cone number four. On the standard set, this would take you to Bangle Stretcher. another mill out of that spacer so I'm gonna to have to jam that one up that's it maxed out goes with cone number three. That was the push-through spacer. All back together. Right. Like that spacer there is still not acceptable to me so I need to take make another spacer in between this one just to be on the safe side see coins are different some will stretch out further than others and it's really all the line with the spaces, but I'm very, I'm not happy with that at all. That's a little bit, I don't know. Let's have a look. I shouldn't really. Hmm. Interesting, very interesting indeed. I've done a lot of work here at uh, no, I'm not going to gamble, I'm going to do that now, and then it can go in the set, and then um, it'll be peace of mind. It's only a thou out, so I'm going to try and milk this other spacer 
to see if I can just get No, it's not going to work. I'm trying to save on work, but it's uh, it's got to be done. Right, I'm going to do that now. Space are all done, so here we go. Let's see if it works. like that. Don't need to whip it out but it's up to the people. Push through. Now that's um uh, what the hell's going on here? Uh, I don't know how. Right, um, now that's taken us the four main cones on the standard set well onto the bangle stretcher. Now this is what we really need to be checking now is the, the thickness. Now that hasn't thinned out at all. The reed, perfect. Oh, the Morgan's a load of crap. It's... Uh, not very good Morgan, but this was a test, so I'm not, I'm not bothered about that. It's just that I was interested in. It's perfect, that. Absolutely perfect. Right, on to the last cone. This is the Mega Cone. So we'll, this will be the teller. So she's taking it onto the bangle stretcher and stretching it in six different points. So let's see. Mega cone, here we go, let's have a look what it does. Very funny, 
very funny. Dusted. Right, next one. Uh, that's fine. That's a bit weird. I shouldn't be there. What's going on? Hmm, very interesting. I think not. Freddy, God, Jesus. Ah, oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, it's a ton of Freddy. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I keep all your tools on the floor. That won't go through there. I'll to take a couple of mil off that because that won't go through with the coin on it. I didn't think of that. Now I have. Now I have. Push through. Landed. Done and dusted. Right. One giant step for mankind. Oh, you. The eagle has landed in Arizona. Oh, hey, hey, just a thought, just a thought, people. Don't have to lose it. Know what I mean? There you go. That's at 50 mils. Now what is that in working material? It's not bang on accurate, but it's uh, accurate if we're gonna get it in that sort of position. It says, I would say that's about six and a half inches. With your inch cut, that would fit a seven and a half inch wrist. And thinning, well, make your own mind up. That's the size that you're aiming for to get onto your bangle stretcher. That's just done another dime that. So what do you think then? That's a nice size, said the actress to the vicar. You didn't think you'd get away without me saying that. Forty years I've been milking that saying. 
40 years. And I still have another laugh. Mind you, I normally sell it to the vicar, but no, he doesn't find it funny. Let's see how funny he finds it when he's in court next week. Right, okie dokie then, that's about it. I've had one hell of a day. You owe me a drink, Gene, you owe me a good drink.